Now, Pulaski County students headed back to school in person last week, but online learners will start this week. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker talked to one parent. She's now joining us live with more on the parents concerns with a lack of resources available for remote learning students. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, Pulaski school leaders had parents sign a remote uh, contract for the remote learning option before students headed back to school. But one family isn't happy about the terms, saying that it doesn't meet the needs of many families in the county. He stated to me, 85% of my students will be returning back to school. The other 15%, they have to figure out how they're going to um, teach their children. That's what Sonia Mincy says Pulaski County School Superintendent Al Pollard told her when she had questions about the remote learning contract. Well, I want to know why you guys are not providing laptop computers nor a resource teacher for the children to, um, to be able to learn properly. The contract says parents who sign are acknowledging that they have a device and internet access at home. This is a Title I district, meaning Title I meaning poor. So how are you asking these parents to do that when you know this is a poor community? The contract also says the district has teachers available for one hour per week to help with online learning. And parents would agree to be their students' learning coach for two to three hours a day, specifically for grades K through five. At this point, I feel like um, they at least should have a resource teacher, I'm like you, available um, at least two to three times a week, not once a week, one hour per week. Um, I also feel like they should be able to provide um, the necessary tools in order to learn from home. Mincy's niece has two elementary school kids with asthma who are choosing to learn at home. She says after meeting with the superintendent and attending the board meeting, she still doesn't have any answers. We do pay our taxes so the teach, you know, so we can have correct educations. I don't understand. I really don't understand what's going on with Hawkersville. I reached out to Superintendent Al Pollard and the school board members multiple times. Pollard referred me to the district's website for more information. Now here is a copy of their tentative budget for this year. It does say that they're spending over $300,000 from their general fund and their special revenue money to go towards improving instructional services and staff training. I also reached out to Al Pollard for confirmation on that. Didn't receive a response. Caitlin, back to you. And thank you, Pepper. And school board member Greg Brown told Mincy they did order devices and those should come in on September 14th.